<laughs> Mike the Chew, I know, right? Mike the Chew Jackson here, Fury FC 2. I'm joined by the nice winner, still undefeated. Still undefeated, baby. Still undefeated, brother. Ricky Terce is man. That was uh, that was a nice little show you put on out there, my man. Appreciate it, brother. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you. You were taking on uh, Edwin Lagoria in his professional debut. His last fight, he took on a teammate, and he took home the victory. Uh, did that leave a sour taste in your mouth? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. You know what I mean. I, mean, just, I never like to see my friends lose. You know what I mean. Um, so yeah, it did suck whenever that happened. You know what I mean. But uh, you know, so whenever I, they asked me to fight him, you know, of course I was like, yeah, sure, I'll fight him. You know. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean. Like, this is. I took none of that away from him, you know what I mean? This is a, it was a completely different fight, you know what I mean? And I prepare for all of them the same way, you know what I mean? It was dangerous and, you know, those, uh, that's how it goes, you know? At one point in the fight, he caught you with a shot and early in the second round. Yeah, that, that, that hurt, that dropped you. Uh, how hurt were you? I wasn't hurt at all, you know? I just, it just to be like right on the nose, so I fell down, but I was cool, I wasn't, I wasn't stunned, you know? That hurt me even thinking. My nose, I know. Uh, again, it seemed like you uh, definitely used superior wrestling to control and dictate the pace of the fight. Was that the game plan going into the fight? Uh, you know, yeah, the game plan is always to mix it up on the feet and on the floor, you know. And uh, obviously, uh, I always like to put them where they're, where I feel they'll be most uncomfortable, you know. And uh, I knew Edward had a, had a strong uh, f uh, game on the feet, you know. He's got a he had good hands and stuff, you know. So I just want to you know, mix it up on the feet and then take him out of his comfort zone and right. put him where I would feel like I had the advantage. So that's why, you know. Decided. Yeah, Edward definitely has an um, unorthodox style of striking yeah, and sure. stand up. Uh, was that a really concern or were you just not worried about his game plan? Well, so, you know, uh, I always I always look at the tapes and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, in the fights, I try to focus more on uh, playing my game and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Because, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, it's going to be my fight, you know, and uh, I got to control where the fight goes, you know, so I got to make sure that I'm comfortable on the feet and on the floor, you know, so I feel like I need to be able to outstrike them and I'll grapple them, you know, so just being good everywhere, that's always the game plan, you know. Exactly. You got the win. Remain undefeated. undefeated brother. What's next oh, for Ricky Tercio? It's a surprise, baby. It's a surprise. Uh, I got some big, big plans coming up in this, this year coming up, you know what I mean? Uh, that fight definitely left uh, a sour taste in my mouth, you know, because I really did want to finish this fight and, uh, you know, I didn't get to get the finish and it really did, did show what I need to improve on. I know exactly what I need to improve on, you know, and uh, I got some plans that, that I'm doing this year coming up, you know what I mean? It's, uh, I haven't told too many people yet, but... Uh, well, don't give it away just yet. Stay tuned. Uh, MikeTheTruth.com may have it first. You never know what's going to happen. Ricky, man, congratulations on your win. We appreciate it, brother. Woo!